Now, let me start us off with a question. What is cast? Do you know? Because I don't. But I do know what is what is cast. And what is cast is Rodion's base ego, which is a Zayn in class, as all the base egos are, but this ego has a 15 plus 13 roll, which ends up being a 28 at max. It's the same as uh, suddenly one day, but it has a higher base roll, so it's a little better. Now, as for most Zayans, she'll cost you 10 sanity, and the resources will be 1 gloom and 3 pride, which is fairly, fairly affordable, right? I mean, especially in this season, right? You're not going to be running out of prod anytime soon. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Your resistances will change to normal uh, of everything, but fatal to gloom, endured to pride, and fatal to envy. Two fatals and one endured. That ain't very good, if I'm being honest with you. That's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. If you're hitting an enemy and its HP is above 50%, then you'll deal plus 30 damage, which really sets Ego up for success because that makes it one of the more damage dealing base Egos, which I can get behind. Now, on hit, inflict 4 bleed, which which isn't necessarily that all, it's not that game changing, but it's, it's nice to have a little bleed. You'll gain plus 2 SP heal efficiency next turn. And you'll gain negative 1 SP loss efficiency next turn. So I suppose you'll be losing SP loss efficiency if you have it on you. Which is which is good, I suppose. I mean, I don't think many things apply SP loss efficiency. Not yet, at least. So, it's not very useful. Not yet. But, maybe, maybe that'll change. Passives for this ego is called Severance. You'll gain 1 SP heal efficiency you'll lose one SP loss efficiency. So, this ego likes to set up positive SP effects for itself and likes to get rid of the negatives, which can be very useful, although I just don't see it being particularly good as of now because SP loss efficiency isn't applied by very many things, at least not that I'm aware of, which sets, like, one of the on-hit effects and half the passive makes it almost obsolete, which you really hate to see it. It's This ego has so much going on for it's dealing 30% more damage most of the time. But it's SP loss efficiency, which is, it kind of doesn't need to be there. If it was replaced by like maybe a little more bleed, this ego would be great. Although this ego is fairly good right now, it's still leaves a bit to be desired, I suppose. To get this show on the road, what is cast is Rodion's base ego with a pretty average roll. Does 30% more damage if your enemy has 50% or above HP. Does mediocre on hit effects. Has a mediocre passive. Is pretty cheap. Now, its drip is pretty bad. It doesn't really do much. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put some egos low to put others high. So I'll rate this a 2. Not the worst. But it's very bad. Now, at the strength, it's saved by its deal plus 30% more damage, which makes it pretty pretty good at dealing damage for his A and Ego. So I'll rate that. I'll rate that a 6. Now, its usefulness is very low because its on hits really don't do anything. Its passive really doesn't do anything. And its resistances don't do much because you get fatal to two things and only endured to one. So, all in all, it's a pretty useless ego, unless you're dealing damage. So let's rate her at a uh, bah, 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 like three. Let's rate her at three. That's feels that's what's pretty fair. Well, that's it pretty much. Peace.